India has one of the highest numbers of recorded road traffic in the world. So first aid drills like this are vital. But these men aren't doctors or paramedics, they're constables in the Delhi police force. We're conducting an exercise to show how they handle the road accident victims, how they carry them to the hospital, how they transport them without causing further injury and uh, saving their lives. Across Delhi, police are being trained to deal with accident trauma because here, police vans and not ambulances are often the first on the scene. We have ambulances, but considering our population and big diameters of the city and the country, probably not enough to be able to reach the site uh, right in the beginning, which is why the police usually reaches before the ambulance. Immediate medical care can be crucial. Timing is everything. What happens to a victim in the first uh, 15 to 20 minutes is what determines uh, their chances of survival. If it is delayed at that time and you wait till the person gets to the hospital or an ambulance comes, then it is usually too late. In the grounds of Apollo Hospital, police officers are being trained in basic trauma care skills. Delhi police already have some first aid training, but this course teaches them additional skills, such as spine immobilization, bleeding control and CPR. First responder care in our city or our country is not great, but that is something that we are working on. We are training people so the person who is there at the site of the accident knows what to do as a first responder. The training is organized by the Save Life Foundation. While there's no single reason why so many road accidents happen here, this training could prove life-saving when they do. There are a mix of a number of issues that come together to form this deadly cocktail of road accidents. Bad road user behavior, roads were designed many decades back and they're not equipped to handle the kind of traffic that exists in India today. However, uh, in our view, almost 50% people who currently die in road accidents can be saved if they were to get emergency medical care on time. And that's the focus uh, that we have uh, in terms of finding a, so a solution to prevent deaths. About 2,500 police officers have been trained so far, and there are plans to train 4,500 more. This is very useful for us. We keep getting calls where we need this kind of training. When we take the patient to the hospital in our van, on the way the patient needs some treatment. It really helps us. Dr. Singh believes these police officers can make a real difference. They could actually save lives. We have had incidents where these people, after going through this course, have actually managed to do the primary trauma or the CPR and managed to save a life. And they definitely can do that.